We have some visitors this morning. A bunch of black cows have wandered into camp. And something scared them off. There they go. They're wandering off that way now. I came to Tractor Supply because I had to pick up a few things. Got the feeders and the water bottle. Some premium pine shavings to, for the bedding and stuff. And I got some grit because now you need that to digest. Some snacks with our mm, mealworms. Meal you said yum. Mm, yum. Do you want some mealworms? <laughs> and then the guy inside had suggested the Cluck Company. This is a layered blend. Okay, I think this will do. These water bottles usually go here. And I've emptied out this whole compartment. It was about time. I needed to reorganize everything. But what I want to do is make this into the chicken coop. And I opened up this wall. This is the back. This goes into my bedroom. I can put an insert in here for the nesting box. I think that will be nice. It'll be up high and out of the way. That'll leave me a place to put a bar here. A roosting bar. And then there's this down here, which will capture all the hay. This is where I'll keep everything in the poop and the pee, blah, blah, blah. And also there's a drain port here that will automatically drain, which is nice. If any moisture gets up in there, it'll just automatically drain out. And this will make it easier to clean out since it's plastic. The only thing that I have to do is build a wall here so I'm going to frame it out and build a wall in here and this will be the chicken coop. I do need to put a vent. I'm not sure exactly what I want to do if I want to put a window into here. So that way it brings light in. But I'll do that later. Right now I need to get the wall built. I don't plan on having a lot of chickens so this will work. We're running into town to go get some wood so we stopped by the gas station to fill up and we found free wood. I can definitely use this. It was just laying behind the dumpsters, so we grabbed it. Uh, awesome. Free is always better. Before we run to the hardware store, we thought we'd grab lunch, and we're here at the number one Chicago, no, we're not in Chicago, but it is a Chicago-style restaurant. I believe the owners are from Chicago. They've moved down here to this area, but I was in Chicago I think it's good at what, two years now? Two seasons ago? It was like not last summer, but the summer before. And uh, I went to a Chicago restaurant and it was really good. So I'm hoping since the owners are from Chicago that it's gonna be yummy. We'll see. While we're waiting on the food, I thought I'd come out and show you because they have pictures out here. They have the Chicago's hot dog, Italian beef, Here's the some best. of their food. Like, it's uh, the best. I've had a, a, a Chicago yeah, dog. Yeah, but his, but... his uh, euros are the best. Oh, are they? Yeah. Nice. Yes. Thank you so Excellent. much. And then, here are the euros. Here. So, I might have to come back and try that. I ended up getting the Philly steak and cheese with french fries and a drink. Right, there's my Philly steak and cheese. And then, what did you get? Wow. It's uh, Italian beef and sausage. It's called the combo. That thing's huge. Well, there's a sausage in there and then the oh. beef on top. Oh, I see it. There's the sausage. Wow. I don't feel like my uh, sandwich is that special anymore after looking <laughs> at yours. Mm. Mm, so good. Mm. <laughs> it's huge and juicy. Mm-hmm. Because they have the dipping sauce for it. Look at all the cheese that's pouring out of mine. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Checking out the local thrift store and look what I found. I'm going to use this as a next nesting box so I don't have to build one.
Well, how freaking perfect is that? I couldn't ask for better. I'm just gonna have to level it out. It's kind of lower on this end over here. But other than that, then it also gives me a frame to attach the boards so it'll segment this area off. I grabbed some exterior screws and I had to stop until that thing stopped going because it's loud. Picked up a reciprocating saw. I've been wanting one because they're really good for projects and they tear apart pallets really easy. So I'm glad to have had that. I thought since I didn't have to buy wood, then I could put the money towards the reciprocating saw. It was about a hundred bucks and I got the carb bite blades made for the wood and metal and they last longer and those were about 20 bucks. So with taxes and the blades and everything, it was 130 bucks. So I got those two boards in and I stopped there before I finish across because I had to get this board in that levels it out over here. I'll work my way back to this corner here. I want to keep this nook because this is where my rug, it has to have this inset and also the um, clam, the tent has to have this left or else it won't fit in this cubby. Since we're working with individual boards, they all seem to be different lengths, so I'm using the bar that I bought for the roosting to let me know how much the next bar is. Ta-da! Now I know how long to cut the next bar. Okay, that wasn't an easy feat, but this side is complete and the little nook is still there. So now we have to do is just finish this back piece and we'll be good to go. Awesome. Get some straw up in there. And Jeff just mentioned, of course, there has to be a ramp here for the chickens to get in and out. Center so it pulls it in. Now if you get it too high or low, then, then you have to put two. Oh, I thought you meant center in the other way. No, I meant, I meant center down the center of this right here. I think it looks good, but this is all that we're going to do today. I will continue tomorrow. There's not much more that I have to get done except the roosting bar. So I think I'll do, I'm not sure yet, a roosting bar up here or more lower. But I left this space open here. So that way I can open this door and there'll be ventilation. One more thing I almost forgot is the nesting bar. And there is mixed reviews online. So we just went with one of the old pallet two by fours that is kind of cut in on both sides here. So I've heard that they have to be able to cover their whole feet or else they could get frostbitten. Not that it gets this cold here or wherever I am, but we'll see how this works and I can change it later. It's not even, it's just wedged in but I put the brace bars here. So that can be removed if they don't like it. You just don't know until you try. We're getting chickens! Yes! Where are you going? Are you scared of chickens? Is somebody being broody today? <laughs> are you being a bit broody? I feel like you are. You're staying inside. I'm just throwing things about. You won't let nobody else in. Did you want to go in? You can. <laughs> All right. Want some mealworms? No? You don't? You're just more interested in the camera. Yeah, she doesn't even want any mealworms. I'm not sure if she's being broody or she's trying to lay an egg. Trying to lay an egg is a possibility. That's what it looks like. These girls are only five months old, so they're not at that stage yet. They seem to be adapting well. Added or put up two of the walls just to block some of the wind because it is a bit breezy. And the clam is working out really well for a chicken coop. Now I wouldn't keep them in here unprotected or when I'm not watching. 
because I know predators could get in here very simply and easily. Good job, Sookie. You did it. So we went for a walk with the dogs. And look what we got left. <laughs> it's our first egg. Wow, it's a beautiful egg. Look. See? Ooh, he said, like, can I eat it? Momo, look. It's the first egg. Awesome.